Welcome to Holton's Fix It 101. Today we are going to be talking about this thing. This is the TPT 125 thicknesser from Triton. I'll see you after the intro. Back in 2019, um, I went to uh, Screwfix Live and uh, I wanted a new thickness planer because my old thickness planer was about 10 year old and it was getting to the last of its legs anyway. So I wanted a new one but I wasn't exactly going out of my way to actually go and find a new one. I was looking around and, and being very particular about which ones I wanted. So I was there at um, Screwfix Live and uh, this one was on display on the Triton stand. So I had a good look round it and see whether it was any good. I spoke to the representative there and obviously he's going to turn around and say the best things in sliced bread. But I ended up buying it and it came at a good deal, a good price that they actually put on it as well. Obviously they're doing deals at the, at the show as well so I, I bought this one. And since I've had it since end of 2019, I've used it quite extensively. And it, oh, yeah, it's brilliant, absolutely brilliant machine. It's got soft start and it, is, it, it rips through just about everything that I, I, I throw at it, really. Um, but there is a few things that on, on here that I feel that they could have improved. Um, the dust collection at the back here is absolute <laughs> and uh, you know it is you know in your, your usual things like the cable wasn't long enough and the one that they provided anyway was really really stiff you know by the time you got it all out of the box and way it was all raveled up it, it was it was like a spring it was horrible so that got modified um, but um, I'll show you the, the previous uh, dust collection that I had on here. Now, this thing here was the shield that I had, and I'll, I'll bring it up a bit closer so you can actually see it. Um, there you can see it's got just this round thing there, and it is, it is it's a piece of plastic, and it's absolutely rubbish. So with that, I decided that I'm going to modify the one that's on here. And I'll turn it round, and this is what I come up with. It's the same type of thing that they've got on the back of theirs. I made this obviously out of wood, but now I'd be able to put on my big 100 millimeter hose directly off of my uh, my dust extractor. Now. I've, if you've seen my dust extractor, I'll put a link for it up here. There. There you go. There. I'll put a link for it up there for you. Now, this is really, really good because these are supposed to fold up, but obviously because this is in the way and everything else. Now, this thicknesser has a 317 millimeter uh, width right across here. So if you've got, say, like a 12-inch board or something like that that you want to run through there, it will take that, no problem whatsoever. Obviously, you've got to be careful about the depth that you actually set the, the, the thing on. The depth is actually set by this lever here, which is a whole lot better than my old one because it used to have a lever at the side here and you're trying to crank it and everything else. It was absolutely rubbish. This on the top here as well, it has a roller on the top here so if you've got someone else standing the other side then it's brilliant for that as well because they can just roll it straight across there to you you can pass it straight back through the through the thicknesser as well it's a brilliant brilliant machine 
Now, I'll bring you in a little bit closer so you can actually have a good look at this, but I, I'm so pleased with, with the way that this has turned out and the, the way it all, takes all the collection of dust and everything else off this machine. I'm so pleased with it. Right, here we are. Now you can see now what I've done with my dust collection on the back here. I've modified it to a certain degree. I've made it a lot, obviously I've made it a lot, lot bigger. Um, now you can see that I've got uh, bolts in here and here and everything else that connects to this plastic thing that's up the top here. And there's also some bolts on the corresponding underneath um, that will actually uh, connect up as well. So it's, it's pretty well secure there. It, it, you know, it's pretty well there. And here, you, if you follow that collection, that, that one down, you can actually see what I've done with the cable, cable collection and management. Now, obviously, I've got a little bit of a bow in just there. And that, when that goes up, obviously there's going to be less bow in that cable. But if the cable is well out of the way of the actual bed. So I've done all of that. Now, obviously, when I had the, uh, or bought the thicknesser, the cupboard that I previously had my old thicknesser on, it didn't fit, because this one being that much of a bigger thicknesser. So, hence, I built this cupboard. And this cupboard's quite unique, to be honest with you. It may look like just three drawers at the front, but it, in, it, in essence it is. But this drawer down the bottom here is a very, very shallow drawer compared to the actual drawer that you actually see here. Because the rest of this down here is a great big lump of concrete in the bottom of it to stop this from shaking about and moving about when you're using it. Otherwise, this cupboard will move around all the time when you're trying to put wood through. Right, I've got this cheap piece of wood here, and uh, it's, it is just an old piece that uh, I've got hanging around. Um, but what I'll do is I'll throw it through the thickness of thickness planer, and I'll have my dust collection in going at the same time, so a little bit, be a little bit of noise, but uh, I'll, I'll get it get it going at the end. I will be wearing some, uh, some uh, hearing protection and everything else, but uh, I'll try and lower the volume for you on the screen. There you are, as you, as you may have heard as well, the actual thickness has a soft start. So that's, I'll bring the piece of wood over and you can actually see the piece of wood as well. And there we are, a nice cut on there. It's got a very, very minimal uh, piece of snipe on there as well. On both ends there's a little bit of snipe, which you, which you would expect. I'll see if I can get it round, here we go. A little bit of little bit of snipe on there, which you you would expect from a, any sort of you know. But if is is it? I've sanded that back before now, and I've had no troubles with it whatsoever. But you can see that the actual quality of that of that cut. So there we go. So there we are. There is the Triton TPT one two five thickness planer or thicknesser. Um, I'm pleased with it. I'm hoping that if, if you go out and get one that you will be too. So enjoy. If you like this video then uh, click on the old like button down there and uh, if you want to see more content like this on the channel then hit that subscribe button and uh, I will see you next time. Bye bye.